How y'all doing? Talk about gun registry right here. It's basically unconstitutional. And where I live in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania law says it's illegal to read, to keep a rolling record or keep a record of what guns you buy. The background check you're supposed to do, if you pass the background check, where you, if it's a handgun, or even in a long rifle, a handgun you fill out two forms, but even if it's a handgun or a uh, long rifle, the only people that know that you own that firearm is the place you bought it, and you keep your record, and they keep their record. Any problems come up, the cops have to do a research and figure out where the gun comes from. Well, I was at a place earlier today to get one fixed, and he wanted me to leave the gun there. And I said, well, if we do that, we got to put it in your books, because that, uh, that, uh, Obama changed that. You can't be a... Uh, you can't be a gunsmith without being also a dealer. Makes sense if you're going to leave guns there. What happens if they get stolen, I guess? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that. What I am talking about, I mean, this guy had a little argument. Not an argument, just a discussion. He says every time he transfers a handgun, he's got 14 days to send the paperwork to the state police and they keep it filed. Constitution says there is no record. It says you can't, you can't keep a record of firearms. What's this guy sending paper up to state police for? So then I call another place up the road here. And I asked them, they said, no, no, sir. The only people know that you have it is you and us. He goes, except. I said, what do you mean, except? He says, if you buy more than one. If you buy two, they must send the paperwork into the state police. What the hell is the state police doing with my record? What are they doing with it? Are they, do they got it hung it up on the wall? Are they throwing darts at it? What the hell do they got? What, what do they need it for? There's the other question. So the Pennsylvania Constitution says there's no registry. They can't keep a rolling record of the guns you own. But if you buy two, but it doesn't say that in the Constitution. It doesn't say that in the Pennsylvania Constitution. It does not say that unless you buy two. Then we want to keep an eye out on it. If you buy two in seven days, what kind of crap's that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what you guys, what your guys' states are. In theory, the Constitution, the, the United States Constitution, should protect you from this. But states get to file their own laws, I guess. I don't know. As far as I know, the only law in Pennsylvania was uh, the, the thing about straw purchases. You, if you buy one for somebody else, that's the only gun law in Pennsylvania, I thought. And then I find out about this. <laughs> I guess, you know, uh, me and my wife bought multiple firearms at the same time. I guess they know who the hell we are. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? What are they using that work paperwork for? Now, if they got the paperwork filed, what do they do with it when they're done with it? Is it a possibility that shit can get stolen? And then some fool grabs that paperwork, reports my gun stolen. I don't know. What are they going to do with that information? What are they going to do? It's my gun. I got the paperwork. What does the state police need my paperwork for? It's funny. I don't know. Just a rant. Bye.